Kneef. Clearly, I'm in the right place. Good morning, Ruben. Bonjour, Anna. Perfect timing. I am about to test my new art installation. A machine? Isn't this an exhibition of Dada art? Why do people think so, how do you say, uh, linearly? Dadaism, purism, fauvism, who caresism? Me? I hate these isms. Dada is painting, collage, poetry, theater. Art does not have strict borders. Art cannot be contained in neat little boxes, and neither can I. Oh. I hope my question didn't offend you. No, you did not offend. You asked a simple question and I beat your head off. My apologies. The machine is Dada, but it is a critique of my early Dada work. The piece has many meanings, as you will soon see. Where is... Ruben, have you lost something? The wheel that attaches to this bar is missing. Let me help you find it. I found a wheel. Is this the missing wheel? Bless you, Anna. See the switch in front of you? Flip it. All right, I will. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not trying to label you with this observation, but is it fair to say you are more of a visual artist than a technician? I am afraid so. Would you allow me to take a crack at it? You? Anna? If I may ask... My childhood was spent in oil-stained overalls, not turtlenecks. I worked in a repair shop growing up. Well, this pile of junk cannot get any worse, I suppose. Thank you for the vote of confidence.
Incroyable. You are full of surprises, Anna. Do you see the hooks on the wire above? Would you hang a plate on one? The automated sculpture is a comment on overproduction in our industrial society. The plates represent the corporate waste. What is all this racket? The racket is capitalism run amok. I told you about my machine. The Corogonza is revolutionary. Ben scared me half to death. Is this piece safe for gallery visitors? Not to worry. We will put them at a distance from the exhibit. I won't have the police shut down another of exhibitions. That was so long ago. Anyway, we have a visitor. Iris, meet Miss Anna Myers. Nice to meet you. Did I brush you off at the bar last night? Think nothing of it. I'm a reporter for Eurotaggers. I was wondering if I could ask you a few questions about Vanessa. Why is this war so desolate? Ruben, darling, this wall needs our immediate attention. You are correct. Uh, let me think. Uh... Miss Myers, we need a moment to contemplate. Wait for me in my office, please. Certainly. I'll meet you in there. Thank you for your... Thank you for your help. Thank you for your help with my Corogonza. I'll take a quick look around. I found Judith's business card. Why did Iris need Judith's business card? Miss Myers, you have my undivided attention. I found this business card for Lieutenant Judith Harler in your office. Did something happen? You found it, did you? I was robbed a few weeks ago. Nothing serious, I hope? Just clothes and costume jewelry. Nothing to fret over. What exactly did you come here to ask me about? I take it you've already heard the news about Vanessa Fiedler? Yes, Ruben told me. Did you know her? The art world is small. We run in similar circles. I read her reviews. She was obviously an angry, frustrated woman. In a way, I felt sorry for her. At the risk of being too blunt. Do you know anyone who would have wanted her dead? Everyone in the art world wanted her dead. Ruben and I won't be shedding any tears for her. You told Judith that Ruben was here yesterday morning. Were you watching him the whole morning? You did, so. You're on first name terms with Lieutenant Halle. I spent most of yesterday morning in my office. Ruben was working in the hall. Interesting. One last thing. You left this flyer behind at the cabaret. This is the old flyer. We changed the design for the new ones. Thanks for returning it. Are we done? It's none of my business, but you were having quite the argument at Russo. 
Yes, you're right. It's none of your business. What were you two? Miss Myers, this interview is over. Thank you for your time. I clearly touched a nerve bringing up her conversation from last night. Anna, up here. Would you hand me my hammer? Where is it? Over there, on the ground. Merci. Leaving so soon? Did I scare you away? If anything, the passion you have for your art is energizing. I'm leaving to meet with Judith at the police station. Can I ask you a favor? Would you take my sandwich to her? It is around here somewhere. She gets absorbed in these murder cases and forgets to eat. That's sweet of you. Yes, I'll find your sandwich and bring it to her. My sandwich should be some... I found a sandwich. Give you it, my love. Tell her I will call her later. The police station is in the central district. I wonder what Judith has learned so far. Hello, Miss Myers. Hello. Sorry for my behavior yesterday, okay? I was too hasty. Anyway, I'm sorry. Consider it water under the bridge. I'm new to the force. Relatively new. The lieutenant promoted me, and she expects a lot of me. Sometimes the pressure is hard to handle. What if I'm not good enough? I've been in more than a few high-pressure situations myself. My advice? Think of yourself as a trapeze artist on a high wire. If you constantly think about falling, that's paralyzing. 
You can't perform. Take one small step at a time. Focus on the task at hand. Deep breaths help, too. <sighs> Thank you for the advice. Thank you. Now, can you point me to Judith's office? Of course. The door on the right upstairs. She's expecting you. Thank you, Uli. Anna. Who were those men leaving your office? My superiors. Red tape gives me a damn headache. Smoking like chimneys. Could you open the window? Absolutely. <coughs> My boss is exactly the same with his disgusting cigars. They're just awful. Men or cigars? Ha! Huh. Both, I suppose. So, did your leads go anywhere? Nope. Vanessa hired a maid. Vilma Zommer had an apartment key, but her alibi is tight. So, we're back to square one. No strong motives or suspects. Keep your sleeves rolled up. It's a tough case. Got to stay focused. Well, don't forget to eat. Ruben says hello. He asked me to give you his sandwich. Ruben thinks I can't feed myself like I'm a child. I thought it was sweet. He cares about you. Well, enough about me. You should meet our forensics expert. He works in the lab downstairs. Let's go. What a surprise to see you here, Anna. You two know each other? Without Dirk's help, I wouldn't have solved half my cases. He's taught me a lot. She flatters me, but there are many analysts like me in the world. Anna's intuition and ambition are one of a kind. The Vanessa Fiedler murder. Yes. Let's dive in, shall we? There were fingerprints on the scene. They matched the victim herself and Vilma Zoma. There was another print on her typewriter, but it was damaged, so we can only guess who the print belongs to. As for the message on the ground, it was written in a mix of green oil paint and blood. There were also signs of sexual assault. Then it's likely the crime was committed by a man. Anything else? Evidence suggests she was strangled to death, then stabbed with a knife half an hour later. Stabbed half an hour later? Why? Why? I have no idea. Why is your department, isn't it? Perhaps he needed blood to write his message. How revolting. Dirk, may I have a look at the damaged fingerprint? If Judith doesn't mind. I'll sign off, Dirk. Let her look. The fingerprint lab is right over there, Anna. According to your fingerprint files, there's a strong chance Iris Kniff is a match. Agreed, but it won't be admissible as evidence, since we can't guarantee a perfect match. At least it gives us a lead. Iris said she knew Vanessa, but implied they weren't close. If Iris was in Vanessa's home, perhaps they were closer than she let on. What's Iris hiding? Should we go to the gallery and ask her? Not yet. I'll ask Ely to trail her first. That often gets us new leads. You know best, Lieutenant. I told you. Call me Judith. Right. Judith it is. Lieutenant, bloodshed at the hospital. What happened? A nurse called. Said a doctor was killed. She was in shock. Wouldn't say anything else over the phone. We have to hurry. Join us, Anna. Certainly. Which hospital? Halt Krankenhaus. In the suburbs. I'm on my way. <laughs> 